Hello everyone and welcome back! In this new section of the course we are going to be adding to our progressive web application another progressive feature, the application shell. Let's understand the application shell by understanding the problem that this feature is solving. For that, let's switch to a larger window where we will have here more space to see the dev tools. Let's talk about a performance problem that many single page applications have and that is especially noticeable on mobile. As we can see when we reload the application it still takes quite a while for the user to be able to see something on the screen. This is when the first paint occurs. Let's measure when does this occur in this particular application using the performance tab. Before we launch the profiling session let's first clear the service worker. This way we will simulate the situation where the user has not yet installed the application on its device and everything is being fetched from the network. So we are going to unregister the service worker, this way nothing will be served from the cache. With the service worker stopped, let's switch back to the performance tab and start profiling the application. We are going to hit the stop button as soon as we see something on the screen. After a moment we are going to have a profiling report similar to this one and we can see here how the browser spent the time during which the profile was occurring. We can see here whenever the JavaScript engine was blocking the whole page and we can see here for example in purple this is when the browser was rendering the page. So if we search here for occurrences of purple we are going to see that this was the first moment when the browser had something to show meaningful to the user, right here at around 1 second. If we scroll before 1 second we are going to see that what we had here was essentially a blank page. This initial blank page is normal and expected because let's remember this is a single page application so the first request that we received from the network was our index.html which is essentially a blank page. If we inspect here the response we are going to see that there is no meaningful HTML in this initial HTTP response. In order to see that I am going to take the HTML and I am going to paste it here to our project. Let's create quickly here a tmp.html file and we are going to paste in here the content and we are going to format everything. Let's have a look. This is what our browser is receiving in the first request. As we can see it's a completely blank HTML page. The only thing that is there to render is this loading message. Now going back to our profiling results, how can we improve this time to first render? Well, the only way to improve this is to serve more HTML in the initial request. We might want to add here the complete menu and we might want to add some information to the user so that the user understands that the page is loading and it's working we might want to add here a loading indicator. This is just to give some visual feedback to the user so that the user knows that the page is not blocked, like it often happens so many times on mobile. Ok, so this describes the problem that we are trying to solve, let's now talk about a solution for this. We now understand why the user sees a blank page for such a long period of time. It's because there is nothing to render and we are waiting for Angular to bootstrap itself, fetch some data from the network and display here this list or at least to start rendering here the skeleton of the page including the header and that bootstrap process still takes a while. So the only way to improve this user experience and decrease the time to first meaningful render is to serve more initial HTML content to the user in the index.html so we no longer can serve only here an empty page with this loading message we need to add here the HTML and the CSS for the top menu, a loading indicator to show something to the user as soon as the index.html file arrives at the browser preferably or just a little bit after when we have loaded some extra CSS. This initial HTML and CSS that gets served to the user just to quickly display something meaningful to the screen that is known as the app shell and we are going to see how to add an app shell to our Angular application. 